there, everybody. Welcome to Stories by Shelley. Oh, I see you've chosen Sophie the Squirrel. Well, Sophia the Squirrel. And it's by Philippa Morassi and illustrated by Megan Andrews. Sophia the Squirrel. She looks a little bit scared, doesn't she? Well, these books are from a collection called My Feeling Friends. So, let's see what Sophia the Squirrel is quite afraid of. Let's have a look. Sophia the Squirrel. <laughs> Some very stinky cheese. Sophia the Squirrel was climbing in bed when a strange noise outside filled her with dread. She turned cold and sweaty, her heart filled with fear. She hid under the bed, her hands over her ears. Oh, what is it? She thought, oh my gosh, a monster has come to take me away. I feel like I should run. I'm too small, I'm too weak, I don't stand a chance. It's best that I run with no backward glance. She thinks that there's a monster coming to get her. Do you think it's a monster? Oh. But Sophia then froze in terror and fear. The monster is coming. He's getting too near. There's no way I'll fright him. Oh, there's no way I'll fight him. Maybe I'll bite him. I can't. I'm too scared. It's all just too frightening. Oh no, Sophia. What is that coming? Wait just a minute, said a voice in her head. You're a strong little squirrel. You're feisty and red. Your knees may be quaking. Your breath may be shaking. Your hands and your heart might be trembling and breaky. But you're braver than most little squirrels, you know. Hmm, you're right, said Sophia. I'll give it a go. She picked up a stick and struck up a pose. Then a scent from outside wafted into her nose. She took a step forward on wobbly knees and thought, this is odd. I think, I think I smell cheese. Bang, boom and crash went the sound in the house. And she peered around the corner and there was a mouse. With a great block of cheddar and two slices of bread, heaving with effort and sweat on his head. She looked at the mouse with shock on her face and then said while gripping her stick, just in case, what is this racket you're making out there? You're really quite loud and you gave me quite a scare. The mouse turned politely and held up his hands. Oh my, I'm so sorry. Forgive me, madam. My name is Miles. I'm gentle and kind. I live in the garden behind the grapevine. Could I give you some cheese? I feel so sorry. I hope you're not scared. I don't want you to worry. You really are brave to have come out to see what the noise in the hallway could possibly be. I didn't feel brave, Sophia softly said, wringing her hands and shaking her head. It, I took a deep breath. I counted to ten, then I opened the door and I played some pretend. I held my arms up like a soldier at war and I took a deep breath and I let out a great roar. I pictured myself a tough and fierce giant, tall, strong and loud and so very defiant. I'd lift up my shield and dig in my feet the monster would know that I'm a tough girl to beat. But a 
it was all in my head and it wasn't quite real. That's how I conquered the fear that I feel. I only pretended that I felt that way and that's when I felt a little more brave. Miles said, you did well. I admire your strength. Fear can sometimes feel quite intense. Why don't you sit and pull up a chair? I feel quite exhausted climbing up these stairs. Sophia and Miles sat and ate cheese on the bed of soft blankets and warm autumn leaves. Their hearts had stopped pounding and they felt quite relaxed. They talked and they laughed and they spoke of the fact that a tiny grey mouse made a noise such as that. And it goes to show when you're feeling some fear that help is not far, it's really quite near. No need to go hiding inside your safe cave. The power is inside you. You really are quite brave. Ah, so you can all be brave. Can you be brave like Sophia? I hope so. Hey, taking a deep breath, pretending to be a soldier, to pretend to be a giant, and you can conquer the scary feelings and the scary monsters. Hey, because they're not really real. I hope you enjoyed that story, everybody. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.